It is sleep week here on Sunrise, and today we're showing you how to smell your way to a better night's sleep. So from lotions to diffusing oils, we're breaking down the top three fragrances recommended by a local sleep doctor. So no, most people know lavender is good. It stimulates chemicals in your brain that help you relax, but the experts recommend two others, jasmine and vanilla. So you can use diffusers, eye mask, lotion, body sprays, whatever it is, but the key is not to use too much. Also do it at least 30 minutes before bed, and that's a great time to add meditation to your routine. Then you go into the bedroom where it's a sanctuary for your sleep. Then you have that lavender scent or the vanilla scent or the jasmine scent and use breathing techniques. So breathing, counter breathing in, counter breathing out. And it really is trying to get that mind clear and trying to get that mind to rest. And that right there is Dr. Cam Atwal with Adventist Health. We're working with her on this whole series this week. She says just don't overdo it with the sense. A lot of people tend to use just a little too much, and that'll do the opposite. That could keep you awake. Also experiment, see what you like. Um, now she does say, interestingly, peppermint is the absolute worst thing you could smell before bed and anything citric. So no orange, lemon, things like that. Oh, Although lemon grass is good for you. Oh. So, but uh, I don't like jasmine at all. Are you? It's a little too sweet. Perfumey. Vanilla's good. Um, I like lavender. Lavender's great. I'll be honest with you. I'm watching these sleep segments. Very interesting. But I'm thinking, here's a great idea. Just wake up at two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and then don't go to bed until about nine o'clock at night. And I promise you, you will fall right asleep. <laughs> she goes, What time do you go to bed, and do you wake right. up and? Basically, she's like, you're in trouble. Yeah, so, we are. We're yeah. doomed. Um, so tomorrow we're talking about the best foods to eat before bed and foods that will keep you up. And I got to say, Dr. Atwal told me some that are not good before you go to bed, and they really surprised me. I had no idea that that stuff was keeping me awake at night. Oh, so that's tomorrow goodness. at 610. When I first met uh, my wife, like when we were dating about 14 years ago, I always used to have cookies and milk before bed still. <laughs> Oh, how cute. Oh, like, you're like a little bit like, like, No, I wasn't in my jammies. I was probably without a shirt on, but I was eating like four chocolate chip cookies and a big glass of milk before I went to bed. I was like, man, why do I have a belly suddenly? Hey, that's an obvious one. I'll tell you some that's less fantastic. obvious foods. That's I cannot funny. wait, Ashley. <laughs>